name is Steve from Flipping the Nerd, and this is my tribute to Mr. Wes Craven. say anything. I wanted to make a video here on Steve's blog, blog to honor a director, a writer, an incredible filmmaker, and a legend in the horror community and in the film community, Wes Craven. Known to many for his films such as the Hills Have Eyes, The People Under the Stairs, Scream, Last House on the Left, Shocker, and his, probably his most known work, and the one that really introduced me to his career, A Nightmare on Elm Street. I've been a fan of Wes Craven's work uh, pretty much since I'm a child. Seeing that iconic imagery of Freddy Krueger haunting people's dreams was such an awesome story. It visually worked and it terrified people for generations. There have been many Nightmare on Elm Street movies. A lot. There's been TV shows. There are a ton of memorabilia. Uh, people dress up as Freddy Krueger to this day. And really, there are two people that are largely responsible for that. Of course, there's Mr. Robert England, who plays Freddy Krueger. But there's maybe an even bigger influence would be the man in the back of the camera, which is Wes Craven. Wes Craven, unfortunately, passed away. Um, very, very sad at the age of 76 of brain cancer, which... Seems like a hor horrible way to go. But even though that he's passed on, his legacy will really live on forever. His movies are just... They're just so good. Um, he really changed the horror genre uh, with some of those movies. I mean, most of those movies that I talked, I mentioned have all been remade because people love those movies. They grew up with those movies, and to this day, they're, his characters are iconic. Uh, I mean, Freddy Krueger is probably, if not number one, then at least in the top two or three most iconic horror figures. Uh, you know, there's maybe only Jason, Michael Myers, uh, Leatherface, and Pinhead that could be up there. But I think Freddy Krueger tops them all as far as an iconic look. Um, as, uh, you know, Ghostface from Scream is kind of the modern poster child for horror films as well. I mean, in the 90s, it's the one that I can remember really starting that second, you know, horror phase. I mean, you had that 70s and 80s uh, horror phase, which was pioneered by Wes Craven with The Nightmare on Elm Street. And then you had that 1990s horror phase, which was pioneered by Scream, and then was followed by, you know, um, I Know What You Did Last Summer, and all those other, you know, horror films that came up after that. So The Man is just was incredible. Uh, I personally, I mean, like I said, I'm crazy about... A Nightmare on Elm Street. I collected, I started collecting autographs <clears throat> maybe five years ago now to fill up my man cave. And I made a list of all the different franchises that I wanted to be represented in my man cave. And right at the top of that list was A Nightmare on Elm Street because it had such a profound impact. I got super lucky. I got to meet three of the actors in the movie. Got to meet, of course, Robert England, who I've met a few times, and it's friggin' awesome. Yeah. Amanda Weiss, and uh, I got to meet, you know, uh, Heather Lioncamp. So Nancy as well was just just friggin' awesome. Uh, it's unfortunately I never got to meet Wes Craven because he is responsible for all of it, and 
I just wanted to make sure that I made a video to honor his memory uh, because his career has really meant a lot. Um, I'm into horror in a large part because of Wes Craven. Uh, I'd probably put him second as far as people who really motivated me to go horror after, well, like second or third after Tom Savini and George A. Romero, who probably got me into horror first. But after that, as soon as I saw Freddy, I mean, I was hooked. So, Wes Craven, you are awesome. You, you know, had an incredible life. And people like me are going to make sure that you are never forgotten by continuing to support the work that you did while you were alive and continue to be just absolutely huge fans and pass it on to future generations so that they never forget the man behind the movement, the man behind a lot of the iconic horror films that we see today. So I tip my hat to you, Wes Craven. May you rest in peace. Thank you for watching. See you all on the